that hell just melting. Nemesis is having the time of her life. I'm just gonna put it down with the tornado. Arachne's here, we're gonna ult. Didn't need to ult to kill. Oh, oh, are you sad? You should be sad. Oh, Kukulin is here as well. Come on here, boy. I'm gonna get your ass. Cutting him off. Yep. Oh, we got a triple. That's pretty nice. What is up, beautiful people? It's Sullivan here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're playing Smite and we're playing Kokolkin. It's Rain Conquest, Masters Rain Conquest. Uh, we're playing a company here by what looked like a nemesis on a Kokolkin in mid. Still a pretty, pretty strong god in mid. He got a little bit nerfed and people decided that they are not gonna play him anymore, you know? He's not the strongest character in the game anymore, so not worth playing. I disagree. Still pretty good. We're playing against what looks like a hell in mid. Uh, that means that Anubis is support, which is weird. Not often do you see some bullshit like that in Messers ranks, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, hell, also one of the top tier in mid right now, so probably gonna have a good game. The thing about her, she can outpush me just as well as I do, so the main power of Kukulkin being able to push like mad is kind of moot against hell, but yeah. On the enemy team in the jungle, Arachne, not a very strong jungler to be honest, but can probably chase me pretty well if she latches on the three on me, so let's see. It's pretty hard to chase Kukulkan, honestly. Uh, I can just ult under my feet, and you cannot really chase that, otherwise you're gonna die. Uh, Hell is being a little bully, but she chickened out. Now, uh, Nemesis is really wasting too much time on those mids. She should have rotated mid, uh, got the wave, and go for the red buff instead. We're just wasting time here. What are you doing, girl? She missed her one. She's gonna heal that up, but it's fine. Uh, yep, that's the end for the red buff. They cannot contest. And that should have been done like a minute ago. Coming back for the wave here. Uh, but what looks like Arachne is not gonna cut me off or anything like that, so we can just walk in here safely. He's on the word. Both of them, actually. Ooh. I don't have my two, I might be in trouble here. Didn't want to get stunned, so we just backed off. Probably she didn't even have a stun. That was bad beats by me. I got off slow. I'd have just taken a little bit more damage, um, but no stun. She's level two, I wasn't paying attention. We're Oom, because we went for Book of Thought. The, the smalls are going down. Just want to not lose that XP. Put my three. Mm, didn't latch on to the back line. Unfortunately, that was a bad clear by me. She want to push me and put some more pressure. We're rushing back to the mid lane. Kind of missing out on a lot of stuff there. Uh, because Hell has so much sustain. And she kind of opted for a good start with the Chronos pin tier 2. And I just wanted to try Book of Thought because it just works so well with the Kukulkin. But probably you should start Book of Thought, um, Chronos Bandit tier 2 as well, like on any mage right now. It's just kind of meta. Just wanted to try something else, got sick of building the same thing over and over and over again. We're ulting this wave. I was hoping that she would juke into it, but she didn't. But we get a Rages for that, so at least something. I was hoping she might juke from my one into the wave and I will pop my ult in there. But just get the pressure of that clear. It's not like I can secure my ultimate right now. So using it like this for fast clear is not a bad idea. And if you get a lucky hit, you can have a kill opportunity. Enemy missing middle. Looks like hell backed off to the base. I'm gonna do the same thing. We missed just one minion, which is not a huge deal. Exchange poke. She can heal it up though, so... That's a better trade for her. Get the MP5 off of the totem, which is nice. 
your ally has been we're healing quite a bit from our boots just popping this there in case she wants to invade and try to steal she might get hooked put a word over here just to make sure that she's not doing some cheeky which she does so i'm being pretty liberal with throwing out my ultimates oh hello arachne i didn't notice you there cannot really chase because we're slow immune in our two so yeah kind of wasted opportunity there and i still had beats for the stun meanwhile nemesis actually has a good gank which is nice and they rotate for our smalls, which is really pointless. Looks like Shibalanki decided to rush uh, the enemy quote-unquote support. Didn't work well for him. Mulan might get pressured. Yeah, yeah, hell's there. That just means that she wastes uh, the whole wave for the opportunity to steal the blue buff. Which in my opinion, not worth three people. If I had an ult, I would have called Gold Fury by now because three people in the left lane. It is all right. Let's try and catch Hell here entering the lane. Oh, okay. Yeah, Hell missed the whole wave and they split the blue buff three people, so I don't know what the hell that was, but it was not the play. Now Hell is getting what looks like chased and I'm actually two levels ahead on her. She was just level seven. Uh, she just hit 8 from the red buff, and yeah, that rotation <laughs> didn't work for her. But look at that Anubis being level 6 and no D. That is not the play, my man. We're starting his stack here. Book of Thoth getting really, really strong, really, really fast. Like, we're sitting already at 256 power, which is insane. 54 gets for getting from our passives, which is understandable. Some poke on the Anubis. Make him jelly. You can get my beats off of nothing here, so I'm trying to be careful not to give him that. Because if he hit the stun, I have to beats because I don't... Oh, what you doing, girl? I cannot trust them of not putting damage into me if it hit those uh, the stun. Trying to push her out, she spooked as she should be. Oh. I think I hit her. Yeah, I definitely did. That's what I was saying. She cannot really chase me down. There's a good fight in dual lane. Our support is traded for two people, which is good. And these boys, like, yeah, Arachne just... If I play carefully and hold on to my two, slow immunity and the speed boost give me just enough to not have a care in the world about Arachne. That's missed. Juked pretty well. Yeah, Nemesis is asking. We're definitely going to Divine Room. It's just it's just too good right now, man. It gives so much flat stats. Like, the flat penetration is really valuable right now, and there are very few items that provide it now, so... Also, with Anubis, Arachne, Hell, Hachiman, and going probably Divine uh, Devotion, and Kokulin also healing a fair amount because of this build. Oh, how did I miss that? Get some damage on Anubis. Just zone them out. Off of the wave. Hell is still losing that. Still losing that. She's still losing that. That's half a wave. That looks like the whole wave, honestly. And a lot of damage on the tower. Oh, look at them. Look at them. <laughs> They've been all sneaks and shit. And I didn't have a care in the world. Those rotations just do not work for these people, huh? They do rotate towards the left lane, though. And I wish we had more control in dual lane. We should be going for the Gold Fury right now, but we don't have it. Yeah, four people in left lane and no Gold Fury because Shibalanki is losing to Hachi. Nemesis is now pinging because she misses on her farm and that's how, how it was my fault. Well, it's going downhill a little bit, but we're gonna persevere here. Let's poke her out. She jokes the wrong way, she's dead. There you go. 
she did exactly what i was hoping i was banning banking on it just it's not like a very hard play to do she just need to jerk the wrong uh, the right way and it's gonna be fine she gets my bees here it's fine but we still have her too she cannot really chase me down if she ults we just put a three under us and she dies Let's see if we can kill Hachi here. He's out of position. If he gets greedy, he's gonna die. Nah, it looks like he full on disengages. Gonna just stall the wave over here and. Oh, hello, what you doing? That was unfortunate. I got stunned when I activated my two. And body block by her children, which is, yeah, just unfortunate. Not a huge misplay, but a, just a very unfortunate one. Meanwhile, the Kukulan is getting ganked in soul lane, so we get somewhat of a return kill, so I guess. So we just lost Gold Fury because uh, Shibalonki is not aware that it exists, unfortunately. No wording, no, like, anything. Not even a movement in that direction, so, unfortunate. That kind of destroys all of our advantage. I mean, we are a little bit behind, although not a huge bit, so it's fine. Just gonna throw it all there, get nothing, bad stuff. The thing I found about Kukulkin is, uh, Kukulkin is that you just have to be a lot less careful about your ultimates like this. Uh, we don't really have a lot of setup in our team except for like Ares. He's not present in my lane, so instead of just holding to that ult... Oh, you're so dead, girl. Yeah. So, like I was saying, instead of just holding to that ult, uh, you can just throw it out every once in a while. Like, steal a mid, ha uh, mid heart piece. Oh, Anubis is out of position. Looks like he's getting smacked by this girl. Oh, look at him, speedy boy. What the fuck that was, man. Whatever. Let's pretend that he was just lagging a little bit, okay? Not running like a fucking Sonic. Hello, get some damage. I want to keep my distance. Arachne is behind us. She's looking exactly for me. I'm not giving her that. We need to go for Pyro here. It's pretty free. I don't have my ult though for a secure, but I don't, don't think I'll need it right now. Maybe? Yeah, we got it. Waiting for air assault. Got two people. Hachi just walked into it and now he's dead. Arachne should be dead. I'm gonna juke out Kukul in a little bit. Aegis is damaged. Oh, hell is here. So we're backing off like big time. I don't know how I missed that one just now. Anubis is behind us as well. Can I just back right over here? Yep. <laughs> Good stuff, thanks to that Ares just zoning him out for a little extra half second and saving my ass. They're coming here. Did not secure. Got some damage though, but nothing major. Uh, Shibalonk is about to die. He was out of position, not paying attention to my calls, and now he did. But we got 200 kills, so that works out pretty well for us in the end. So far, Shibalonk wasn't of any use, so his death doesn't mean a thing. We can get some actives and maybe an ult off of the Hachi. I'll cut high, see what happens. Ooh, you gotta juke that. He did. I can still put some damage, but... Oh, look at the Ares just going balls deep. We get everything off of him. And Nemesis goes in for... Yep, hello. She ults, but she still gets damage. She goes for the Ares, I guess. I was afraid that she's going for me, and I let the Ares die. Oh, I'm dead. Am I dead? Yeah, I might be dead. Never mind. 
Mulan provides just enough damage and just fast enough for me to survive. I don't want to stay here anymore. Yeah, there's hell. So overall, pretty nice. We have some damage. We have a decent amount of CR, a little bit of sustain, a lot of anti-heal and a lot, a lot of power. So overall, pretty nice. Don't want to have an ult to steal that goal here in case they go in, but it's still not up. So we still have time for the cooldowns. Judging by position of hell, it's not coming up like exactly right now, but pretty soon ish. Let's poke them a little bit. Very easy to poke out Anubis, really. <laughs> He's just a very slow moving target. Ooh, look at that hell just melting. Nemesis is having the time of her life. I'm just gonna put it down with the tornado. Arachne's here, we're gonna ult. Didn't need to ult to kill. Oh, oh, are you sad? You should be sad. Oh, Kukulin is here as well. Come on here, boy. I'm gonna get your ass. Cutting him off. Yep. Oh, we got a triple. That's pretty nice. Meanwhile, yeah, Hachi's soloing the Gold Fury, but we can get a fire here. Still a good play. I think that was a Nani wave, right? So, very good Gold Fury. And considering what was happening to his team, that was the better play for him. But you know what? Fire is fire. So, gotta grab a tier 2, probably a couple more off of that, so... He might get a tier 2, somebody has to defend, but, like, it's fine. Their whole team is back, so we cannot really push for Phoenix, but we can go for the mid. If, if my team is up for it. Looks like Hachi backed away, so it's an even fight. Nemesis is getting caught up. Ooh, look at her burning that Anubis. We got a lot of Pokemon uh, Arachne here. Just ulting through the wave they don't expect. Boom! Big ult. We got the soul laner, which is really hard to open. Meanwhile, Shibalank is attacking the Phoenix that... <laughs> I think he actually got me a little bit to attack it too, like... Because he was so persistent. I had a feeling that we can do that. Clearing up some of their jungle and just straight up backing away here. Have a lot of gold in our hand. Oh, he's attacking the gold fury. Look at them. So the things I lack in here is some pen. So we're going to go for additional pen. We're doing pretty well. 6, 1, and 7. So 13 kills out of 23 over 50%, which is optimal. I'm going to get some additional pen and MP5. Never run out of mana ever again. I actually think that I already have a decent amount, like more than enough. So mainly current scoring, I'm looking at the penetration here, so... Ooh, what you doing? Are you running? Ooh, you're not juking. What you doing? That's his ages and beats. That's his ult, and he's dead. Okay, 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 never mind. He still had an ult, I mean, right? So he burned like everything, which means that the next fight is going to be pretty good for us. Unfortunately, Ares burned the, his ult as well, but like we really do have a good situation here considering... Oh, what you doing, Arachne? Ulting out, I guess. You look like you're ulting out. I guess she ulted in, so yeah, <laughs> didn't work out for her. Uh, I would prefer my team to push right to That's exactly what they listen to and doing. So we're gonna push the further lane. Don't want to get caught in the stun here. I'm gonna get instantly killed if I do. Not even beats and age is gonna help me. <laughs> I'm gonna just pop this here for the zoning and uh, YOLO and ultimate. And there when they bunch up. Oh, there you go. He juked it out. Yeah. But I want to stop that damage, otherwise Ares probably would have died. So now no Anubis ultimate, no actives on the Hachi, just zoning out. Got some anti-heal on hell. Nen's going in, which means that we're going in as well. Just don't want to let her in alone. Caught the bathing for the Kukulin. Hell is getting destroyed, going melee range for no fucking reason. That's good for us. What you doing, my man? Did, it, did he just blink? Or was he glitching again? 
Mulan in the middle, split push with the Nem. So this game is going pretty well to our side. Just going straight for the Titan here. Soaking a little bit of damage is fine. Just keep the damage on the Titan. And trying to hit the other people if I can. There's Anubis going down. We need to tank that up and just finish the game. Easy peasy. That's 15 kills out of 27 or 50%. But really, Nemesis just completely popped off. And the Anubis troll pick. Like, this shit don't fly in ranked. Like, in Master's rank, man? Get the fuck out of here. I hate when people do that in my game, so I'm definitely reporting that guy. So in terms of builds, like I said, you should build Kronos Pendant tier 2 because it's just so much better than every, anything else. There's a little room for Bankrupt's uh, tier 2 start, but you cannot really dive into other items as fluently uh, because you still probably will need Kronos Pendant at some point. So right now, judging by the stats, the MP5 that provides the power, you just go Kronos Pendant tier 2 and... I decided to try something else and uh, don't recommend it. it's like it's not the better way to do but it's still a viable somewhat way for certain characters like a cool for here it goes really well with this passive so you get just a percentage of the mana uh, into your power and yeah it's pretty pretty solid amount of power and so we finish the book of thought we get some life steal that's about all the sustain that i get for my hp because uh Kukulkan is not a very good life steal god probably one of the worst honestly so you just go into those boosts to passively heal when you push the wave so uh, every now and again but just not looking for a full HP regeneration on every wave or something like that. Just just a little sustain. Divine, just a staple item right now in the mages. Everybody should build Divine. Even that hell should have built Divine. She didn't. That's why she lost probably. That Anubis troll pig, uh, troll pig build we don't even discuss. It's just a huge steaming pile of bullshit. Yeah, Divine, just, just too, ma too many stats and healer's meta. What, what else do you need to know? Just put it on Divine. It's just anti-heal. It should be almost mandatory. Everybody builds some kind of healing nowadays or just straight up picking hell, Aphrodite's, Anubis is with double life stealing, that kind of shit. Kronos Pendant because just it's really hard on Kukulkin without uh, CDR and the best option with the CDR is obviously Kronos Pendant. Didn't feel like I needed any breastplates or whatever or some other items. So just going straight for the Kronos provides me a lot of MP5. Just drive that point home. Never lose the mana. Always be able to dish out some spells and have a huge cooldown reduction on them for it. While at the same time just having that mobility in my two which is the only way for me to survive the next item is chiron coin at this point killing kokolan gets pretty hard but honestly considering they have anubis for support should have just went for more damage we can kill kokolan no problem he's not like extremely easy to shut down me which is from what looked like was one of his main goals he doesn't do as much damage to me and with my two active he cannot do shit so I should have really focused on more damage and maybe some flat pen like uh, Spirit Desert probably. Just I got a little bit pattern in there and just went for the Chiron Coin and Percentage because yeah, with that support and 0B, I should have just went more power and explode him. And the finishing item brought it to Hootie definitely, like when they dropped that percentage, the damage just spikes up tremendously. Probably I would have went for Gem of Iso if I didn't want to go for that Spear Magus, because you know, they're just very very slowed for a very long time. And if you hit your one, it's pretty much a root, because with the percentage of the slow, it's just too much. That almost secures your ultimate, and Gem of Iso is probably, yeah, probably something that I would have gone. So in terms of damage, uh, comparatively, I just completely annihilate and destroy and shit on top of that hill. Like, it's over three times the damage, like, what the hell is this? I mean, considering she healed up like 4k, you might think that she has like 10k, but that I still topple over twice the amount. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> annihilated mid lane. ADC is comparatively about the same, like almost identical, almost as bad, like our Shibalanki has a little bit more assist, but obviously due to his ultimate and the other part like kills deaths even the same. Our solo laner, pretty much the same, they're just jumping on each other, not a lot of impact out of any one of those. Um, our jungler nemesis was popping off next to me, which is in my opinion the main reason we won, me and her. 
like we completely carried this game. Almost doubles the damage on the enemy Arachne. That was pretty not effective considering he tried to focus me and my two is pretty much a full counter to anything that he throws at me. Unless he's ready to full on dive me, there's really little he can do uh, unless I get like extremely out of position to the point where my two won't be able to bring me all the way back to the tower line. Then yeah, then he might actually have a chance to kill me, but that never happened because I keep track of my positioning. And our supports, uh, like our support and whatever the fuck is on the enemy team, yeah, not even close. Uh, surprisingly, Anubis was warding a little bit, but like, yeah, who, who cares? He troll picked, everybody reported him, I hope he's also getting good banned because, yeah. But I still wanted to play some Kukulkan and upload some Kukulkan, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, uh, and helps me immensely. Ring that notification bell to let the YouTube know that you enjoy my content. If you want to ask me a question, leave a comment, I respond to every single one, so just whatever pops in your mind, just put it out there. Yeah. And if you like the video, obviously hit a thumbs up. It's gonna also help me and the YouTube. And everybody's gonna be happy. And hopefully you guys having a wonderful day. I will see you in the next video.